Hey guys, my name is Ricardo. Welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about Tudor versus Omega. Let's get started. Tudor has had some amazing offerings during Watches of Wonder 2023 with their new Black Bay line, offering the Black Bay 54 and the new Black Bay 58 slimmer case. Tudor has been doing amazing things within the actual watch community. Now, what is this fight between Tudor and Omega? What I believe it is, is Rolex not wanting to get into the fight in the first place. In the watch community, it has always been Rolex versus Omega. Us consumers are the ones that judge between the two companies. What I believe Rolex is doing is saying, hey, little brother, go ahead and fight for me. I don't wanna fight anymore. I believe I am the more prestigious, the better company at the end of the day. Let's go ahead and have you two hash it out, which is a really smart move of Rolex in the first place. Do I believe Tudor is better than Omega? Absolutely not at the moment. Can they be? Absolutely. But it's only time basically that we're gonna have to tell. But between the two watch companies, who would I buy from? Whether it's today or whether it's 10 years from now, I see myself buying Omega more than Tudor. And what is the reason? It is because of history. Now, when we're looking at history between Omega, we are looking at the Olympics. We are looking at First Watch to the Moon. We are looking at Bond. We are looking at, at so much more history rather than Tudor, which is just basically the poor man's Rolex, the copycat, the homages. Now, I'm not saying Tudor doesn't have innovation. They have bronze cases. They have sterling silver cases. They have the snowflake hands. They have a lot of unique features within a Tudor. But at the end of the day, I do not want a watch that reminds me of the Rolex that I couldn't get from the AD because it was sold out or because I didn't have status to get one in the first place. Again, regarding history within the two brands, when I look at the Tudor website, I only see one and maybe a little bit more than one page of history. Now, I do understand some of these articles, you're able to click on them, but some of them are just really short compared to the Omega website. When we're looking at the Omega website, we're seeing catalogs and pages upon pages of history. I just feel Tudor is too copycat compared to Rolex. Now, I 100% understand that Tudor had the original intention of being a cheaper version of Rolex. I want to see new innovation like what I've stated before. Now, when I'm looking at the end consumer, I'm looking at whether or not they're going to be enjoying the watch. Well, I personally, whether I buy a Tudor or a Rolex, I would be enjoying both watches either way. I believe a lot of consumers are going to be looking at their wrists and they're going to be questioning whether or not they could have had the Rolex. Now, would I buy a Tudor now? No. Do I believe Tudor could be better than Omega in the future? Absolutely, but at the end of the day, it's only something God will know. What I do know now is that Omega's history and what Omega is offering is absolutely amazing for the price. Do I believe Tudor at one point, way in the future, could have a very similar history? Absolutely, but that's something that needs to change now. Their movements are absolutely amazing. What I want to see is innovation and design. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, whether I am in the right, whether I'm in the wrong. It's perfectly fine for you guys to have your own opinions. I'll talk to you guys soon.